Welcome to 129 Reef Mall in the Marina Peninsula. Today we are looking at this postmodern masterpiece. Look at it. Built in 1983 by architect Vito Cetta. Um, this house is a little bit over 4,000 square feet on a 2,900 square foot lot. And we are in the Marina Peninsula. So as we said, we are at uh, Reef Mall. This is the front of um, this is what is called a mall um, which is you know a street that it's uh, it's not a drivable street i'm so excited to show you what we're looking at today um, this is a brand new listing it has been um, uh, listed by us of the sanborn team we are listed at two million dollars and look at that it's on four levels so we have quite the adventure to look at so as i said one two nine reef mall and what we have Look at these beautiful birds of paradise as we walk through. Okay, here we are, the front door. You will notice these motives throughout. So as you walk in, as I said, the house is on four levels. So this isn't, so as you walk in, you have steps going up and to the left, is the living room. But instead of going up there first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the downstairs, which essentially, even if it's downstairs, it is gonna be street level. So let's take a look. So what do we have down here? We have the laundry room right here. You can see with a two car garage, it kind of feels like a three car garage almost, but let's just say two car garage plus toys. And here we have a little area that could be used as an office. There is a Murphy bed. When was the last time you saw one of those? Murphy bed. There you go. All right, we don't need to pull it out all the way. It doesn't look like it's been used in a while. Here you have the sauna. Unfortunately, we have no light in the sauna in the sauna right now, so it's going to be difficult to see. Let's see if the phone adjusts enough. My God, yeah, there is enough light in here to kind of see it. So you have a sauna that connects. Look at that to a shower that connects to a bathroom. So you're going to be asking yourself, why do I have to go through the sauna to go to the bathroom? No, you don't. Here is let's continue our tour. As you move toward the front of the house, you have an, a closet, ample space. You have a little kitchen. This is gonna be a feature repeated around the house. You see you have a little sink, little refrigerator. This, I have no idea what it is. Um, and then you have two smallish bedrooms. And I'm just gonna give you an idea of the size of the bedrooms, so. We have this. So they're not big, but actually the closet is pretty spacious. So you have another bedroom here. They're connected by pocket doors. So let's see if I can give you an idea of, or just a little bit. There you have it. We have the pocket doors that are connect that connected each one. There's also a patio that connects the two. So here, out here, you have a patio in the front of the house. And another one right here. So then you have this bathroom. And here is the connection to the sauna that we talked about. For sure, there's no light right now in here, but so we're gonna get a little dark in the secret passage. And then there's the sauna, do you see? And then here's the bathroom. And that does it for the lower level of the house. Now let's move up one level, which is gonna be the main living area. Now, one of the things I wanna look at before we move on 
to looking at the living area is this little particular, this is the house. This is when it was built. Look, there were no bigger house next door. This is an interior, I know. You're not gonna be able to see much from this video, but search it, 129 Reef Mall in the Marina Peninsula. It has, it's a house with a lot of potential. Let's take a look. So it's a, you know, it's a great example of postmodernism as we've looked, I think in one of the last open houses we did, we looked at something very similar. So one of the things that distinguishes these properties, as you can see, so look at these details. It was built in 1983. You know, you have straight lines and curved lines joined together. And that's, that's very typical of postmodernism. One of the things that this house has is an elevator. Actually, we haven't seen it. Let's go downstairs and take a look at the elevator so really quick. And another important aspect about this house is here's the elevator. The elevator or place where you place your kids when they don't listen to you. There you have it. But yeah, so the elevator is functioning at the moment. It probably is in need of upgrades, but it helps when you have so many levels. Um, and think about it, you know, this is built in 1983. They were already thinking about, you know, about you know, forward thinking. So, which was, wasn't very common to have elevators in homes. Um, so we come out here, this is the deck that uh, is the front of the house. We looked at that before. So let's continue our journey. And, and by the way, stay tuned until the end because I have a little surprise for you. So hopefully you'll be able to join me until then. Here we go. We have a bar on this side. So once again, we have another sink, a little bar. Uh, I want to bring your attention to a couple of, take a look at this. I mean, right? Let me see if I can lower it a little bit, give you an idea. I mean, take a look. Take a look at the details that were put. You know, you can be a fan of this architectural style or you cannot, but either way, you must appreciate the fact that these little details are everywhere throughout this home. Now, look at look at the, the, the light that is out here. It's, 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 uh, this is why postmodernism is so fun. This is why it's so fun. It's fun because it's, a, it's, a, it's eclectic, right? It's a mixture of styles. Look at this bathroom. Look at this bathroom. You're not gonna, don't apologize for this wallpaper. This wallpaper does not need you to apologize for it. So it needs to be brought back to, to its former glory. And I really think that one of the things that people have to do when you buy an architectural, what you need to do is when you remodel it, you lean into the style. I had this conversation with my wife. You don't try and make it something that it is not. You try and make it something that it was the glory, it was what it was, and that's how you give it, that's essentially how you do it justice. I mean, yeah, I can't even begin. So we're gonna, this is the kitchen. Look at that. I mean, it has so much potential. You know, we go inside. We have an island in the middle. We have the light, right? It looks like a little bit like daylight, but it doesn't, but it's not. Um, you know, this home, Let's, we always, we, when we look at homes, one of the things that we talk about is what you see outside the kitchen, the, the, the bathroom, uh, I'm sorry, the kitchen sink. And this is not the best of you. So there's something you could do probably about it. But why complain about the view when you have a can opener in the wall, right? And a blender. That's luxury right there. So we are in the kitchen right now. How does the kitchen feel? I'll tell you how it feels. It feels like the kitchen is probably, nowadays it wouldn't be so small. They would probably would have added more space. You know, it's a functioning kitchen. It has, it has room 
You have the island in the middle. You have two sinks. You have a sink in the bar. Um, but um, I know that now, see, this isn't something you would necessarily impose on the house if you were to open this side. But then again, it's an important thing that I've learned. Uh, you sell what it is, don't sell what it could be. You know, so that's an important thing in real estate. So we have this, and then we have this family room. This family room, you're kind of like a little dining area right there. Um, I guess a breakfast area would be uh, the proper way to call it. And then you have this room, which was used as a TV room. Um, and once again, we are at 129 Reef Mall in the Marina Peninsula. Just to give you an idea of the size, um, there's plenty of square footage here. Now, the lot is only 2,900 square feet, but the house, it's almost 4,200 square feet because it's on four levels. So we are on level number two now. So let's move up to level number three. And, and I actually, I do want to give you this view. And let's go upstairs now. And as you walk up, as you get to the, to this level, you have, as I'm walking up the stairs on this side, so on my right, you have the master bedroom. And on the left, you have what could be a guest bedroom or an office. And I'll tell you in a second why I think it may be better as an office. So you walk in the master bedroom, you have a little fireplace, gas fireplace, you have a little patio over here. Um, the views here in the, Marina Peninsula, something important to know is that, you know, you either have great views because you're in the edges. And if you're in the middle, you are in the middle. So um, here is, comes with a safe. I was, I was showing it earlier today. No, actually it was the other day. Somebody, the safe was closed and somebody was like, you know, because we're buying the house as is, do we get to keep what's inside the safe? Well, there's nothing inside the safe, so there you have it. So this master bedroom is pretty spacious. Um, let me give you an idea. Definitely big enough for a king size bed. Lots of lights. And when you are thirsty in the middle of the night, why would you need to go downstairs when you can, when you can have your little kitchen right here a little water a little refrigerator you feel like nibbling and that's my friend is just like i said it's a recurring theme there are sinks there are little kitchens everywhere uh, from this home let's take a look at the master bath you walk in you have double vanity pretty large you have a mirrors right there and you have a closet which you know what for the size of the house it's plenty big you know it could be bigger probably but given the distribution of the way the house is designed you're going to be hearing me make this joke all the time uh this closet is bigger than my first apartment it's a fact uh all right let's continue Oh, and look at this, the ultimate luxury. The ultimate in modern luxury. A scale that comes out of the wall. Beautiful. Whirlpool top, obviously needs to be updated. Large walking shower. Now this wouldn't be a Matthias open house if we did not test the shower. You know the rule. You walk in, get your elbow. All right, so this shower for the elbow, it's you can't really turn and do the elbow thing, but it has a little bench, which is helpful. And then you have your toilet stall, which had a door at some point. We have the toilet stall right here. And just to give you, I guess, more of an idea, the bathroom is, is a generous size bathroom with, uh, with good size vanities, mirrors. And here we go again in the master bedroom. And as we walk out, we walk down the hallway to this extra bedroom slash um, office. Now I'm telling you it's an office because it's open here, like I love, I love this. I love to be able to do this, right? And then it's open right here to the downstairs, as we saw, and right here. 
So turning it and upstairs. So you have a, a, a loft up there, and, but it has its own bathroom, you see? A little bathroom and a balcony as well. A little patio as well. So this could be turned into a bedroom or kept as a, um, you know, as a office. And then we go upstairs one more story and we get to a little loft. You can see there is a lot of square footage. There is a lot of square footage, really. And you're looking out, there's a lot of open spaces. So imagine all the way from up here, you can see all the way to the front of the house. And then you go out and you have a deck. And here we are, a rooftop, flat rooftop, not really converted into a deck. But you get the idea. So, 129 Reef Mall, listed for $2 million. Um, it has, as you can see, it's a great example of postmodernism. Um, you either love it or you hate it. That's how I feel. Um, but one thing that cannot be denied, whether you love or hate the house, is the fact that the home has a lot of potential and it has a point of view. This type of architecture is a point of view, point of uh, uh, hilarity. So we have this little deck we took a look at, and then here we exit again on Reef Mall, as we saw. So look how beautiful. So I thank you for having stuck around with me, and I said I got I would have a surprise for you, and I'm gonna live up to it. So just wait for a moment as I walk down Reef Mall, and you see something special. So here we are on Reef Mall. The house is back there, and look what you have here. At the end of your street. This is the Bologna Lagoon. You have a trail. You know, one of the things that we did not talk about is the HOA. This house is within a homeowners association. The dues are about 200 and change per month. It offers uh, security. So take a look. You have the lagoon right here. And you have a nice bridge. So the house is just down that way. So thank you for joining me during this virtual open house. Here we are. I just wanted to make sure that you got to see the bridge and the lagoon before we wrapped up. Once again, we visited 129 Reef Mall today, just listed for just under $2 million. And it's a pleasure to have had you. Thank you for joining me and I will see you at the next open house. Bye.